From Smith, off his toes, dribbles it through, chases after it, Marcus Smith! For the first time in a generation, English rugby has a new creative talent to get excited about. Marcus Smith has the technical, physical and mental attributes to be a superstar. I wanted to learn more about the secrets to his success and the rugby education which has shaped the player we see today. So I visited Marcus's old school, Brighton College, to meet his former coach, Nick Boyd. Nick had prepared a training session for me to take part in, replicating the games that made Marcus. So these skills are all things that Marcus learnt at school and is taking really well into the international game, isn't he? Is it really pleasing for you to see how he's built on them over the years? Yeah, it's absolutely lovely to see him executing these skills and lots of all the other boys that have been through the system doing it at various levels and enjoying their rugby. It's great to see when these sort of things come off. The session is designed to develop three key areas of a player's game all of which are super strengths for Marcus. The first is scanning, looking left and right, identifying space and anticipating the movement of defences or attacks. Second is kick selection, finding teammates with a variety of chips, grubbers, lobs and kick passes into space. And finally, off the ball work, getting into good positions, supporting teammates and identifying weaknesses in opponents. The session is split into three games, played across the full width of a pitch between the 22 metre and halfway line. They're quick, intense and really put your fitness to the test. Something I'd soon find out. Game one is called two offside. The attacking side has two bibbed players stationed in an offside position. The challenge is to find them in space with a pass over the defence so they can score. Top left. It's high tempo and challenges my scanning and spatial awareness. Initially, the speed of the game is frantic. I have little time to calculate my moves before executing them. But before I have time to catch my breath, it's on to game two. Good vision, Will, good decision, they're not there. Game two is turn and kick. Each time a try is scored, the direction of play flips 180 degrees and the attacking team can now kick to the players in an offside position. After 15 minutes of bounding about aimlessly, I start to get the hang of things. After some dodgy attempts and some much needed guidance from Nick, I finally nailed a perfect kick pass. <laughs> Player-led huddles allow us to discuss what we're doing right and what needs fixing. It's telling that the players are not overly coached and instead allowed to learn as they play and figure out what works for them. By the time Game 3 begins, the team is communicating effectively. Game 3 is called Clermont Auvergne. The attacking team has two extra players to help them exploit overlaps. This will improve my off and on the ball skills. The final challenge from Nick is to draw the defence effectively and create a try scoring opportunity with numbers outside. It culminates in my best play of the day as I help set up a try after luring a defender in with a delayed pass. Class. So Nick, we've come to the end. Just talk us through the things we were aiming to improve in my game over the last couple of hours. The ability to scan, info, uh, process the information in front of you, then make good decisions. So basically having good awareness, not just in front of you, but 360 degrees, identifying space, and as I say, using the best players around you. Kick passing, scanning, fixing defenders, exploiting gaps, all these are super skills of Marcus Smith. And having been challenged to play the games he did with his old school coach, it's clear to see where Marcus gets his magic from. One, two, three, three.